times Arca's just going to Arca, and that's what they do best. Friday night at Mid-Ohio is a perfect example of that. Sean Hingarani, the driver for Venerini, will not be getting a kiss on the mouth anytime soon from Big Bill Venerini after intentionally taking out his own teammate, Dean Thompson, on the last lap of Friday evening's race at Mid-Ohio. Not the best idea that he's ever had. With both drivers going for their first ARCA National Series victory, with eight laps to go, the 16-year-old Sean Hingarani uh, decided to lay the bumper to Dean Thompson in the final set of corners. Dean, not happy about that, on corner exit, acted like Max were stopping and just shoved Sean off the track. Take a look at that. Get up, can't start getting shaky. But, oh, but you can watch the leaders in front of you make contact and keep gaining on them. How about contact, that? leaning on each other. Off track. Sean He's Hingarani. Spin right in front of Ankrum. Which way is he going to go? Honestly, it's pretty innocent, right? I mean, if Sean was older and not 16, he probably would have been smarter, backed out, and lived to survive and fight into the next corner and the subsequent seven laps after that. Instead, he spins off the track, comes back onto the track, and because a caution didn't come out, he decides to ride around and wait on Dean Thompson like he's Matt Kenseth at Martinsville, and this is what happens on the last lap. Dean Thompson, as you see, oh, a little retaliation, a lot of retaliation oh, here. Contact, now they're both in the sand trap. Sean takes out Dean, who likely is going to finish second, and gets them both beached off into the gravel. And now, if Sean didn't have a substantial amount of backing from TRD, you could almost bet Venerini would absolutely can him, but because he does, and Venerini is the development program for TRD in the Arca series, he's not going anywhere, but you have to think that Billy and Big Bill cannot be happy about this. It's like the number one rule in motorsports, right? You don't take out your teammate. We've seen it happen multiple times, and every single time, everybody's like, you just can't do that. I mean, there's 20 other cars on track. Just hit one of hit one of them. Uh, instead, he decides to wreck his teammate and Dean Thompson, puts them both off into the gravel, ruins a decent day for, well, both of them, if we're being completely honest. And now all we're talking about isn't the fact that Tyler Ankrum won, who is still racing in case you forgot after that truck series victory at Kentucky, which feels like an absolute anomaly. At this point, we're all talking about the fact that the Venerini cars took each other out because a 16-year-old, who's young and dumb, I understand that, but you have to be smarter, and you're definitely smarter at 16 to know that you don't take out your teammate, let his emotions get the better of him, and I can't really say too much because we also saw a 40-year-old Matt Kenseth allow the same thing to happen to him when he took out Joey Logano. But at the same time, you cannot take your teammate out, especially intentionally and waiting on him on the final lap. That's the part that's just so bizarre to me. And then you beat yourself, and then you have to get out and talk to talk to him, because he's going to be right there being like, what the hell was that? You gotta be smarter than that, Sean Hingarani. So hopefully somebody at Venerini talks to him. I'm sure they have, and you know, maybe they make him drive back to Charlotte instead of actually he can't even run a car, so what am I even talking about? Either way, you cannot do that. Obviously, we've seen it happen before from time to time. Brian Vickers took out Jimmy Johnson, who also collected Dale Earnhardt Jr., and somehow it was Jimmy Johnson's fault. Shout out to that fantastic clip of that man saying that Jimmy Johnson should be shot for that. We've seen it happen in Formula One. We've seen it happen in IndyCar. And Dreddy cars just absolutely love running into one another. In fact, at Mid-Ohio last year, all they did was run into each other. So maybe it's just a Mid-Ohio thing. Either way, don't run into your teammate. Not a good move. And uh, I think... Sean will likely learn from this. Dean can't be happy about it. And Venerini watched a win that they weren't going to get. Well, potentially could have gotten, maybe. Uh, slip away. And things ended poorly for them. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Like and subscribe to the channel. And I'm also on Twitter, Instagram, and now threads at BreakHardBlog.